Hey, Simmers! Hi, everyone! Welcome to Make Two and another episode of our Let's Play The Sims 4 series focusing on the Eden family. We are here with Dylan at the hospital. Before we get started... Dylan, the chief of staff. Yeah, yeah, sorry. He's the chief of staff now. So we've been, wow. I've been playing with him a little bit since the last episode and gotten him fully promoted, which is super exciting. And as part of that promotion, he got a special doctor-styled room, which I've Ooh. added onto the back of the hospital here. And I just wanted to show it off very quickly. Some of the stuff in here is really kind of nice. Wait, how did you get that sign at the back? Oh, that's part of it. That came with the Get to Work update, or expansion pack, rather. Sorry. Yeah. And so I just decided there was already one on the front of the hospital somewhere. Over there, by the sign. Yeah, and also here. So when I added this bit onto the back, I decided it would look good there as well, because there's public-facing stuff back here. I also yeah. added a couple of benches and redid some of this from this side so that the office would have access onto the dining area here for employees so that Dylan wouldn't have to like walk all the way through there. He's got a little bridge across these uh, fountain pond things. So yeah. And just dropping the walls down, you can just see some of the stuff he's got. Now I added a few things like this bookcase. And Wait, well, this room wasn't here at all before, it was? No. You added the entire room? I added the entire room onto the back of the hospital, if I can even just get a look at it. There we go. So he's got a desk, a couple of chairs, and bookcase, and then a little exam area here. Oh, I really like that x-ray thing on the wall. Yeah, it's super cool. What's inside that sim? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's a skull. But what is inside that sim? <laughs> a little computer program. It looks like a little cog, a yeah. little brain inside the cog. Cool. Yeah. So anyway, it is now 8.30 on Friday, and Dylan is about to go away for the weekend, from work, that is, and I thought it would be a good idea for him to meet Maya's family, finally. What do you think? Yep, that sounds good. Yeah, because uh, nobody in the family has met him, really. He and Maya have been dating. We've actually played with them a bit just to maintain their relationship. <laughs> oh, he's not feeling in the best of moods to be... Well, he's having to pick up his own yeah. trash and he's the chief of staff of the hospital. Wow. But as you can see, his relationship with Maya is pretty good. Wow. They're, so they are yeah. They're lovers, soulmates, girlfriends, best friends. They are everything. <laughs> <laughs> I did think maybe I acted too quickly in making them best friends just because... She still has, you know, it's, other it's connections in life, and they they literally just met. The trash is there because it just shows up, and you can scavenge the trash for parts. His repair skills, I think, are pretty high now. Handiness and whatnots. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's now fabulously wealthy. He is definitely wealthy. He, he must be so happy. Tons of money. That is, that is good, because he does like being fabulously wealthy. Yes. As we said... It's time for him to meet the family, and I thought a good way for him to do that would be to have everyone over for dinner and cook for them, because as you can see, he is now level 10 in cooking. Yeah. And in gourmet cooking, he's level 4. So... Uh, wait, does gourmet cooking only unlock when you get to... I think when... I don't know. I have no idea. I think you have to, like, start cooking gourmet dishes and things like that yeah. as well. So, let's see. His needs are pretty... I think he needs a bit of a pick-me-up. Yeah, not great. So I think we're going to do this just for now because I really don't need to have... You want him on his sins. best behavior. Yeah, I want him on his best behavior. So we're just shift-clicking on the mailbox. And now we're going to have the... I think Eden he can family. Call everyone over now. I don't think. I don't know. He doesn't know them. Is the problem. So I think we need to do it via the, um, you know, like let Maya travel with the whole family to bring them over. Uh, okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and switch. I wonder how Maya's feeling about this. It's been like two weeks in Sims time that they've been dating. That since Sam died. Oh. <laughs> You remember him? <laughs> <laughs> Sam has shown up at he the has. house. Oh, that was, yeah. yeah. He seems like a really nice guy, even as a ghost. I like Sam a lot, and especially love that he was 
in a playful mood when we killed him because it means that he's just generally a very happy ghost. Yeah. Okay, so let's have Maya change her outfit to wear something a little nicer. Just wonder if we could do that without, yeah, without having them play. So what do you think? Hmm. I can't remember what we'll have. It's maybe party. I think formula will a little bit similar. Oh, well, we're going to have to. Yeah, she's coming. Oh, yeah. That looks yeah, nice. That looks nice. And did I need to do their needs in the household? No, they're good. No, I you think did they're the good. World. Okay, so let's go ahead and travel. Oh, hey, there's Tink coming home. <laughs> in her detective outfit. Yeah. Yay. Okay, travel. Let's go to. Oh, travel with. Bon, Jamie, I guess clone Shelly. Gosh, she's such a menace, though. Oh, she's going to Dylan, so these four. Yeah, Everyone has she told with. them where they're going and why? Yeah, let's just assume yes. <laughs> you know, because she's not going to, like, just drag them to some random house. And then drop the bombshell. Mm -hmm. This is my best friend and soulmate. <laughs> and lover. And Although lover. nothing like that has happened yet. They've been dating for two weeks, but they've been keeping it clean because we actually have a little bit of a plan for them. And also I think it wouldn't be... I mean, she's a really caring mom. I think she wants to make sure her kids are okay with this before she takes it to the next step, the okay. next level. What's going on? I'm trying so to... Now I think you want to... Oh, because... Knock on door. That's like technically their front, the front door to Dylan's house because it's whack. Uh, yeah. So they're gonna knock. Aww. Aww Shelly's giving like her a little bit of reassurance. Hilariously, because that's the front door in the back, what happens is the Sims go literally through the house to go and knock on that door. I don't know why. <laughs> and also, all the furniture is missing. So let's switch back to Dylan's perspective. So that he can let them in and also cook for them. <laughs> Do you know what he's going to cook yet? I don't know. He can make a roast chicken, which is kind of cool. I can make a roast chicken. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that. I'll have him make a roast chicken. So you're going to say like a roast beef or a whole salmon or... Well, we'll have to see what he can make. Some amazing dish. It's probably all going to... Yeah. Okay. Hopefully this is going to work. She's oh, there. no. Okay. No, no, they're they're all there. there. All right. So... Uh, yes, ask to hang out, and I guess enchanting introduction. Wow. Nice. Oh, he's outside. That's weird. Enchanting introduction. Let's go ahead. Friendly and cheerful. Cheerful. Yep. Yeah. So let's see what happens. This is gonna be a late dinner because it's nine thirty at night. So well, after he's met everybody, I'll have him start cooking. Oh, there you go. I mean, he's a charismatic guy, mm -hmm. so... Wait, you're going to have to Gosh. redo those welcomes. Gosh, all right. Oh, he's going to have to catch people. Oh, no. What? Where have they gone? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> those, those That's a bit rude. Sims have completely disappeared. All right, I think maybe to solve this, we have Maya basically hang out, and then we switch maybe back to Maya and have her... Invite the others to come and hang out. I wonder if that's how the best way to do it. I think it's most important that Shelley and Maya get to see Dylan cook. Yes. Like, the Shelley, kids won't notice. Yeah, she'll have to now invite to hang out. Clone Shelley, Bon, Jamie. Let's do this. Come on, kids. kids. <laughs> okay, let's get a close-up of this oh, cooking. He's put his food down. So basically, we just need to get the Sims there. <laughs> have he them stop, he's, oh, hanging he's, out. Yes. Okay, good. Everyone's coming over. So somebody's <laughs> going to have to let them in as well, I would say. Hopefully. Oh, Link. there we go. See, they're there. Hmm. Call over. Clone Shelly's leaving because she's crazy. Oh, no. She's just going back to that thing. Hmm. She can do what she likes. Hmm. Yeah, managing a pile of Sims is not the simplest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think they're only small, but... They're complicated, nonetheless. Yeah. Meanwhile, where's Maya going? Oh, she's going to go talk to Colin Shelley. Okay, so 
<laughs> really, I want to switch Let's switch back to back Taylor. to them. Get this happening. There really has to be an easier way to switch between Sims who are different households but just happen to be in the same lot. Yeah. So so far, this meeting of the families is not going as smoothly as we wanted yeah. it to. But I think Dylan can definitely roll with the punches. I think Maya may be getting a little stressed. Mm. I mean, it's her family, but Dylan's got a... I don't know. He's the chief of staff. Jamie's there. That's cool. So he can... He can... Oh, no. Yeah. Let's no, not no, no, move no, no, with no, anybody. No, no. Not Cheerful with introduction. Though. Where did Bond go? Oh, she's over here. So that's cool. So he can line up an introduction to her. And then Clone Shelley, honestly, don't care. Wow. Cheerful introduction. So after he's met those guys, Let's then he can get actually him back cook. to cooking. <laughs> I mean, I saw that he, yeah, he left that there. So resume roast chicken. Coolness. Oof. What's going on? Why is Having Jamie in here? Having a little bit of a heart to heart. But it's not going well. He's watching TV. He doesn't care. Yeah, that was he's a like, bit awkward. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was like, mm hmm. I got my stories. Dylan, what are you doing? Won't say bye. Yeah, interesting. Uh -huh. I mean, don't connect too... Don't try too hard, Dylan. Yeah. Because... Mm, okay. okay it's Ooh, talking about food. now the two kids. Okay. I mean, I think they're making an effort at last. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he knows them. Nice works, yeah. Maybe talk mm. about cooking. Debate game strategy, maybe, because... Oh. Get to know Bon, sure, yeah. See, Jamie's being very social and animated. Yeah. He's a charming fellow. Yeah, I mean, Bon often can be a bit of a, a wallflower. <laughs> I mean, she's happy to be there. Although she's got she's a, a weird little expression. <laughs> okay, let's get that chicken cooking. What's um, going on here? Glitchiness, sorry. Wait, is that supposed to be him doing chicken? Yeah, I think so. He's no. supposed to, like, put it in the oven as well. Aw, oh, the chicken's totally disappeared. He's gonna try again. <laughs> this is an expensive dinner, and it's already midnight. Just ignore the clock, guys. <laughs> okay. Great. Let's go. It's gonna work. Come on, come on. You can do this. Okay, this there we go. Much See, that's longer. the chicken. Yeah. Ooh, we put some wine on, I think. See, it looks <laughs> nice and brown. Go, it's making me hungry. Okay. Oh dear, dirty dishes on the table. Gosh, Dylan. Um, Grubs up, everyone. Call to meal. Yeah. Hopefully, they didn't leave the house. No, they're all chilling out over here. I think what's good is, yeah, he they seem pretty settled in his house, which is nice. Why is this happening? This chicken the, is, like, in the middle of the base. It's a little... Ooh, let's get a close-up of that plate. Ooh, chicken with sauce and maybe stuffing and green beans. Yeah, clone shell, you sit your butt yeah. down. Where's Maya? <laughs> um... Oh, no. Where's the guest where of honor? Where did Maya go? And where has Dylan gone? He's watching TV. Oh, Dylan. Not cool. Okay. Sit here. Yeah. <laughs> and where's Maya? Be a good boy. Um. Oh my gosh. She's completely disappeared. Cool. Have a serving together. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully. Dylan, however, ha where's is Dylan? on the computer. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway. Like, I would love to know from you guys who play Sims 4, mm -hmm. have you been able to get two separate households together for, a, for one for a meal? meal? Yeah. Like, all sitting at the table together at the same time. There's Dylan. Come on. And if so, Tell if me. you have any tips, please let us know. Cause... This has been okay, a rowdy on. adventure. Has she called him to meal as well? Yes, that's what I did. I... Oh, look! Oh, he kissed nice. her hello! That's totally sweet. All right now, so yeah, everybody's here. No, Dylan, don't go and watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Clone Shed has gone with him. Okay, this has gone. Yeah. Eat, eat, everybody, eat. 
I mean, I think everyone seems happy enough. I think it's gone kind of well from a relationship perspective, but <laughs> from a event perspective, this is just awful. Okay, clone Shelly, eat. Well, maybe they didn't all hit it off right away, but here, clone <laughs> Shelly and Dylan are at least chatting. There you go. Maybe he just has to win them over one by one. Yeah. Maybe what we need is more bonding time with just Dylan and everybody else together, like on an individual basis. She seems to be saluting his cooking. Exactly. I mean, from another perspective, you could say just everybody was making themselves at home. Like they exactly. didn't need to all sit That's down to a formal dinner. They're just well, comfy. Well, it's not really the Sims way. <laughs> no, the Sims way is not to be controlled. No, I think people can do it in Sims 3. I remember seeing that. I mean, she's just... Bon is a weird dancer. Well... It is also four in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, they seem relaxed there, which is good. Yeah. But rather chaotic. Okay, well, I'm going to call this... I'm going to put this at a six out of ten. Success, yeah. Yeah, So success. somewhat of a success, but not, like, amazing. Yeah, it could have gone worse. It could have gone a lot better. Yeah. So we're going to fast forward through the week a little bit to show you guys what has been happening with the Eden family and Dylan. What we've learned since the first family dinner, which was a little bumpy and awkward, is that it is now a lot easier with Dylan knowing everyone already. He can just invite them all to hang out and then serve everyone dinner. So he's been doing that basically every day this week, trying to raise the relationship status with each member of the family. But that's been going a little bit slowly. He's tried to make Bon and Jamie a priority, hanging out with them by themselves as well. But again, it's been going slow. Better with Jamie than with Bon, but she's slower to warm up to people in general. Work has been good for him, meanwhile. He even delivered a very special <laughs> baby. We just wanted to say that at the time this happened, we had no mods in the game, so it seems like it happened naturally. Or, you know, unnaturally. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> And of course, Dr. Dylan and Maya have continued to go on dates in town and get to know each other better. It was kind of love at first sight, kind of like a whirlwind romance, but they still need a strong foundation for their relationship before they can get really serious, in my opinion. Now, it's the weekend again, and we thought it would be good to see how Bon has been dealing with the new changes in her life. We had asked in a previous episode for people to make some sims who could maybe be romantic interests for her because a lot of you have been asking for her to have a boyfriend. So four of you uploaded sims to the gallery for Bon and we're really excited for her to meet them. I don't know if we can get her to meet all of them in just this one episode, but she will definitely be meeting all of them as this series goes on. Yeah, and thanks so much guys for sending them into us. That's so great. So we recently got the latest expansion pack get together, so we thought it'd be fun to move the four boys into houses in Windenburg, the new area you get with get together expansion. We've moved them here onto this little island just because it seemed like there was a nice little cluster of houses. So like I said, we got four sims uploaded. Two of them came with parents and two of them came without parents. So I decided to have the ones with parents in these two bigger houses and the ones without parents in a house together, which That's nice. might create some drama later <laughs> on. You know, yeah, if all these guys are competing for Bond's affections. I mean, we don't know who Bond is going to like best, but it's just nice for her to have options because the game was not giving us a ton of options before. Yeah. The first one is Kevin Klein, shared with us by Rio Clark, and she let us know that Kevin grew up in Willow Creek with his mom and dad until his mom passed away when Kevin was 10 years old. There's a lot of sad stories <laughs> yeah. with these guys, just to let you know. He never got over the death of his mom six years after, so he's 16, I guess. He wants to find someone who can relate to his past, which oh, I think really? Bond can do, and who can make a new chapter to his life. He's an average person, not poor, but not rich. He goes to the best schools to get the best of life. He wants to reach his goals and will never give up on what he wants. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, so it sounds like they could get on, and if he wants Bond, he's never going to give up until he gets her. So let's see, uh, some of his personality stuff. He's a computer whiz, so that matches her. Yeah. He's a quick learner. I think that matches her as well. He's a genius. Mm hmm And goofball. goofball. That's well, great. Yeah. yeah. So the other sim that I moved him in with was also an orphan, sad to say. And this was Matt Hawthorne, given to us by Ben. Thanks so much. 
And then let us know that Matt grew up in a large family, but was always more of a geeky sim. He'd spend his days inside reading on a computer while his siblings would be out being active and doing sport. So So what happened to his siblings and family? I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe he's just trying to find some independence. And so that's why he's decided to move in with his roommate, Kevin, over here. So he's a computer whiz as well. So they have that in common. He's also a quick learner. (laughs) Yep. And he's a geek. Yeah, that's cool. And... A genius as a well. Genius. So, so I think these, these two seem very similar. Similar yeah. and good enough to be roommates. So yeah, I think, definitely. as I said, we might not have time to get to all of the Sims that were shared, but we're just going to quickly introduce you to this family. It says Mick Williams on their house, and it was given to us in the gallery as Mick Williams. But when you actually click on the Sims, their name is Wilkins. So the boy... This is, by the way, shared with us by Gaming Nachos 57 That's a great name. <laughs> yeah. So... He or she let us know that after Isaac's mom died, life was never the same. Their home fell into disrepair and their life was ruined, but Bond might open a new window and bring their life back together. And yes, Isaac's yes. dad is named Dave. Yeah. Well, they've clearly managed to move into a nice house. I mean, it's a bit weird around the beach here, but it's a nice house by the beach. So they're doing okay. Yeah. I love these houses. We'll get to see more so of them. So let's definitely. see what's going on with Isaac. He is a nerd brain. <laughs> nice. And also a quick learner. You guys are totally picking up on Bond's personality. Yeah. I love it. He's cheerful. That's nice. And he's a genius. <laughs> okay. So see the, a lot of geniuses going on. The fourth sim yep. who was shared with us by Birdie2404. His name is Riley O'Connor. And Birdie2404 let us know Riley's dad died. And his mother, whose name is Janessa, was forced to leave her home due to her husband's family seeing her as a gold digger. Oh, wow. Gosh, and now they're on their own. But they seem to be doing well. They're in a really nice house. Yeah, I like I said, I really love all of these houses, mm-hmm. um, these, especially these modern houses in Windenburg. So we'll be seeing more of them as we go on. So let's check out Riley. Riley is <laughs> us. Oh, he wants to find his soulmate. I yeah. mean, look at that hair. I can tell that he and wants that to find the soulmate. Yeah. Scarf slash cravat thing <laughs> going on. He's alluring. So he's more successful at romance than others. So that might give him a bit of an edge. Yeah. And he's active. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And he's outgoing. This yeah. is nice. Like he could balance some of Bond's, you know, yeah, exactly. shyness and all yeah, of that. Yeah, this could be more of an opposites attract, but mm-hmm. I think he seems like naturally charismatic. Yeah. The others are all a bit geeky. Maybe they won't be able to beat him in time right. to win her heart. Yeah, we'll see. All right. So like I said, let's just start out with the two who are orphans and see how we go. Okay, so we were having trouble wrangling these Sims and making them stay in the same place. So what we're going to do is... Hey, it turns out Bon has a school project that she needs to work on, and it's a group project, and one of her partners happens to be Kevin. So she comes over to Kevin's house. They know each other, but not really that well. They've just been sitting on opposite sides of the classroom all semester. So now she's going to, like, officially introduce herself. Yeah, there you go. What class is it for? I'm going to say computer. And she's going to introduce herself to Kevin's roommate, Matt. All right, she seems to be hitting it off. Bills have been delivered. I don't see why Bon has to worry about the family bills. I want to see how long it takes her to get tense. (laughs) Because she is a loner. Well, maybe if she she can talk about computers and stuff with both of these guys. True. Particularly as that ties in with her. (laughs) Put a plane in the background. Hmm, the plane? Yeah, there was a plane on the water. Ooh. Okay, yeah. she successfully told a joke. Yeah. Good she for needs her. to send somebody a happy text. See that plane? No, okay. I'm look out for it. I'm paying attention to them. What do you think? Well, they kind of need to work on stuff, homework together, and he just walks away. Um. How's about... Ask about day? <laughs> Ooh, he came over to sit next to her. Look at that. Oh, look at that smile. Brogy. Thinking about her. Give Get props. to know. Oh. She's doing well. Mm-hmm. I think it's a new outfit. Yeah, it gives her some confidence. Mm-hmm. She's learned he's a genius. Ooh. I wonder if that attracts her at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, debate game strategy maybe. Oh, sorry. Well. Yeah, we can do that too. 
Meanwhile, what's Kevin been doing? Oh, he's over here. He's Ooh. just, uh, you he know. trying to show off, maybe? He's trying to show off his guns. Mm-hmm. I think he's playing it very cool. Right. Yeah, whereas Matt, I think, is more, well, playing it geeky. <laughs> <laughs> Share brilliant ideas, yeah. perhaps? I mean, she does still need to get going on this school project, obviously. Yeah. But for now. <laughs> okay, seems like Matt could be a contender. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> the first of many, perhaps. What is this? Dance? She wants to dance? Wow! Was well, she just dancing by herself? This just came up as the thing that she wanted to do. Oh my yeah. gosh. That is some confidence. She walks into the I mean, last boy's time house. was when she was basically drunk in a nightclub, <laughs> rebelling against her, her mum. Oh no, he's talking about death. They can share that, definitely. Yeah, although oh, I no, hope she not him. Go. It was it was Kevin, I think. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, Matt is. Oh look, see what's Ke going on. Kevin's joining in, but Matt is feeling a little bit too awkward. It seems <laughs> he can't get into it. The thing is, I think Bon, as we've said, has been through a lot, especially recently, you know, with her dad passing away and her mom now opening an art gallery and meeting a new guy and her rebellious streak has just given her, you know, a bit more confidence than she normally would have had. <laughs> it's like, she's still keeping it chill, though. She's not dancing I don't crazy. Know. I, she's not dancing crazy, but she's got a very serious look on her face. She's concentrating <laughs> hard on those moves. <laughs> <laughs> they were both talking about cupcakes. That's interesting. Oh, I could do with a cupcake. I wonder why Kevin is not giving her even a little bit of acknowledgement. Yeah. It's all with this guy. Maybe yeah. she should try and... I mean, he's you know, kind of, um, you know, he's kind of dancing, I guess. Yeah, but, you know, facing the TV. Maybe he's playing it shy. Okay, there we go. I mean, it is also time to work on their, quote, school project, but they don't have to. They don't have to. This is a really interestingly decorated living room. Yeah, it's a cool rug. Uh, I think Matt's feeling uh, a little bit out of it. Okay. Oh, oh it's not. now they're going to sit. <laughs> How to be a teenager again. Is he talking about grilled cheese? Ooh. Aww, Matt's now walking away. Oh dear. Well, he's getting started on the work. Yes. Okay, so... I think maybe tease mercilessly. Already? Yeah, come All right. on. Because she's, you remember, she's a, Ooh. a prankster in crime now with her brother. This is true. We'll oh, dear, that, that didn't go well. <gasps> that wasn't nice. Oops. I thought Look it was going to be a nice done. thing. You can apologize. I'm sorry. Okay, no, that helped. Done. That no helped. harm done. Jeez, you got to be careful. Wow. Okay, how's about... I want to always give props. Yeah, did we even see that? I think they're going to have to stand up to show that. Yeah. She's like, I've seen you, you know, <laughs> across the classroom. I've noticed you. I noticed that you give pretty good answers when the teacher asks questions. How about real brilliant invention? Okay. From one genius to another. Mm. What is that? Ooh, it looks like a tricorder. Oh, he seems excited about it. <laughs> that was like uh, the woohoo dance. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Brag about handiness? Oh, they're dancing again, though. Well, they seem to have that Maybe in common. Maybe just like, uh, can they, they like actually, dancing. can she actually ask him to dance? She can. Oh, there it was. Oh, there it was. Okay, now he's sitting there. Invite him to dance. <laughs> it's so interesting. Like, she still has the trait of being a loner and all that, but she's being so social right now. <laughs> she's oh, no. getting down. Oh, dear Bon. I'm not sure this is the move to break out. Okay, so yeah, she, she dialed it back. <laughs> <laughs> she dialed it way back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, he's trying to get to know her. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think... It... Yeah, what she needed was just guys her own age. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that that really took she... the window. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, okay, we're done. We're done dancing. Oh, she's just turning on stereos all all around the house. She's making herself at home. Wow, look, they've got the DJ thing. Yeah, I guess one of them wants to be a DJ. Well, this is one of the new hobbies, isn't it, with Get Together? Yeah, it's one of the pre-built houses, obviously, in Windenburg, and we haven't made any changes to it. Did she also just invite herself into his room? <laughs> <laughs> Whose room is this? I'm guessing it's Kevin's. What's she doing? Gosh. <laughs> How many stereos are there in here? <laughs> um, A lot, apparently. Or did she put the TV on as well? So I think probably now would be a good time to have the kids start actually, you know, doing what they're supposed to be doing. They can also just keep getting to know each other. I think she's done pretty well meeting the first of her two potential love interests. And then we'll just have to see who she likes best. Yeah, I mean, at the moment there's been nothing flirty. Mm -hmm. So, but I still think it's great that she's getting more friends who are boys her own age. So that's great. Yes. Thank you so much again to you guys for uploading Sims to the gallery. Next episode, we will pick up with the other two mm. and see how Bond hits it off with them. So if you are new to our channel, please feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more. <laughs> <laughs> that was his move. <laughs> so please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they just became good friends. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. I think maybe it was her breaking out the dance move. Yeah, showing that she's accepted yeah. his weird dancing. She's learned that he's a goofball. That's cool. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims 4 videos on the way, as well as what will happen next with Bon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>